Now, ladies and gentlemen, we take you to the most famous brownstone house in New York City, the one located at number 601 West 35th Street. Oh, Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf. Want something, Archie? Would you be interested in taking on a case involving a woman who was found stabbed to death in one of New York's fancier men's clubs? Can't you see I'm already occupied, Archie? My Oncidian hybrid is ailing. But, sir, cash. C-A-S-H. Remember, you need it to live on. Well, you're actually learning to spell. You'd better learn to count. We're broke. Thank you, Mr. Goodwin. Now, if you'll just go away and stop interfering. Oh, just a minute. Yes, sir? On your way out, switch on the fan. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's that one and only man of mood. The most famous detective in modern fiction. That corpulent, orchid-raising, beer-drinking gourmet who also happens to be a genius. Rex Stout's incomparable Nero Wolfe, starring Mr. Sidney Greenstreet. Tonight, Nero Wolfe's long-suffering assistant, Archie Goodwin, tells us of the case of the careless cleaner. <laughs> I guess we should have considered ourselves lucky not to have known him or his wife, Fila. Two weeks ago, they had a quarrel. Oh? Oh, Clay, darling. I didn't expect you home so soon. I thought you were going to the museum to see the Van Goghs. I decided not to, Fila. Oh. Well, if you uh, plan to paint this afternoon, I'll get out of the studio. I want to run some errands anyway. Why don't you make your phone call from here, Fila? Phone call? Who is he, Fila? Hmm? Who were you waiting for this afternoon? Please, Clay, don't start that jealousy routine again. Don't try to kid me. You're being stupid, Clay. I'm stupid, all right, but I'm getting wise pretty fast. I'm through, Sheila. I've had enough. I'm leaving you. So stay out of my way and keep your boyfriend out of my way, too, whoever he is, or I'll kill him. Yes? What can I do for you? Uh, Sleepy. I want to have a drink and go to bed. I'm sorry, sir. The Garrison Club's a private establishment. No rooms available to the public. You think I'm drunk? Oh, no, sir. Why why do you suppose I came here? And I'm sure I wouldn't do, sir. I'll tell you why. I came here to see my old pal, Lou Saunders. That's why. You know Mr. Saunders. Do I know? Look, I pay him Lou Saunders. Mr. Saunders is... Is your agent? I'm Clay Michelson. Just call Mr. Saunders. Clay, what in the world? Lou, tell this guy who I am. But I'm sorry, Mr. Saunders. It's all right, Mr. Martin. You see? Let's go have a drink. Yeah, yeah, sure, Clay. Yeah. You know what, Lou? I left Fila. I walked out on her. Is there something I can do, Mr. Saunders? Yeah, have someone fix the bed in the other room of my suite. Mr. Michelson will be staying with me. At least for tonight. <laughs> Mr. Wolf? Yes, I do. It's Friday. Good. Fish for dinner, then. Nope. I was not referring to dinner. You were not? I can think of nothing more interesting at the moment. Oh, I can. My salary. Of course, according to the Julian Gannon. We're on the Gregorian, so let's stick to it. Today is Friday. Today, I get paid. Archie, there's a drop. Oh, don't exaggerate. You can't be getting the cold shutters just because I'm asking for my money. I can distinctly feel fresh air flowing into the room. Well, it's possible I might have opened the window six inches. You're insane. Shut it at once. Nope. Are you trying to blackmail me? You think it might work? Never. And the window stays open. You're fired. I accept your offer. All you have to do is pay up. I've hired you again. Oh, Mr. Wolf, you've cleaned out the bank balance again? Well, that is... <clears throat> well, had you seen those Miltonians... Would I have voluntarily given up my paycheck for them? Orchids are very beautiful, Mr. Wolf, but blondes are... Michelson. Yes, well, that's why I'm here. It's about Michelson, Mr. Wolf, that I've come. Frankly, I... I think the man's about to go mad. He and his wife have split up and... and uh, I, I... Such a splendid artist, too. A pity. I don't know what to do. 
He's drinking like a fish. For two weeks, I've been letting him live in part of my suite at the Garrison Club, but he's just steadily getting worse. Can I try a hospital? I can't. The publicity. Mr. Wolf, Clay admired you so that time we all had dinner after the painting transaction. I, I thought maybe you could talk to him. Maybe you could get him on his feet again. I'm not a doctor, Mr. Zondes. But I'm sure he'd listen to you. Excuse me a moment, Mr. Zondes. Here, Wolf speaking. Inspector Kramer. Uh, good evening, Inspector. Got a guy called Lou Saunders at your place. Garrison Club said he'd gone to your place. Yes, he's here. Well, see to it that he doesn't leave until I get there. I'd hardly do that, Inspector. I have no reason to detain Mr. Saunders. There's plenty of reason. It so happens a woman's just been murdered in his suite. Murdered? Yeah. A Miss Hilda Lundgren. What's happened? Uh, do you know a Miss uh, Hilda Lundgren, Saunders? Hilda Lundgren? I've never heard of her. She seems to have chosen your suite to be murdered in. Oh, I, I'd better get right over there. Mr. Saunders says to tell you he'll be right over, Inspector. Now listen, Wolf. Good day, Inspector. Murdered? Murdered in my suite? Mr. Wolf, you've got to come with me. Uh, Mr. Goodwin will accompany you. After the formality of a retina, Mr. Saunders. Oh, anything you say. Here, here, I'll write a check. Good, uh, 500. 500? Fine. My friend and assistant, Mr. Goodwin, will go with you. I have great confidence in his ability to bring back every detail of a murder, particularly where a woman's involved. <laughs> Hey, you photographers, picnic's over for tonight. Pick up your stuff and get out of here. You sound real mean today, Inspector Kramer. Well, if it isn't Nero Wolf's favorite stooge. What are you doing here, Goodwin? I got bored with my knitting. Look, I wasn't asking for humor. I'm Louis Saunders, Inspector. Saunders? Ever seen that woman before? I... Yes. Yes, I believe I have. I can't remember where, but the face looks familiar. Mmm, lovely-looking woman. Blonde and really built. Well, she ought to look familiar. She's one of the cleaning women here at the club. She is? Cleaning? Well, since one of gals like this been reduced to cleaning floors, what's happening to the world? There ought to be a law. Yeah, there is. She was killed with a knife, or haven't you had time to notice? Uh, that's not a knife, Inspector Kramer. That, that's one of Clay's Chinese letter openers. He used to... What was that? Well, nothing. Nothing at all. Yes, it is a strange knife. What were you saying, Mr. Saunders? Uh, just, just so that that looks like one of the letter openers belonging to one of our friends. Who is this Clay? Clay Michelson, the artist. You can't possibly think he'd do a thing like this. I think everybody did it until we know otherwise. When were you last up here, Mr. Saunders? Me? Why, just a little while ago. I changed my clothes just before I went to see Mr. Wolf. She wasn't here then? Well, I don't know. I didn't come into this room, just in my part of the suite. Your part? Who occupies this room? Mr. Michelson. has been staying with me. Strange wounds, no blood. What do you think you are, Goodwin, a medical examiner? Oh, but yeah, I Yeah, want... yeah, yeah. The killer probably wiped the blood away. Saunders, have you any idea where your artist friend might have run off to? I haven't seen Clay all afternoon. He spends a lot of time down in the bar. Well, he'd hardly that... sit in a bar if he's killed somebody. But... Well, why would he pick on the cleaning woman? Oh, this is no ordinary cleaning woman. Get a load of that figure. Watch She's... it, good one. Watch it. You're liable to stretch your brain. But you're wrong. In spite of everything, Clay's still totally in love with his wife. He, he, he wouldn't... Hello? Uh, uh... Where did you get in? Yeah, uh, who's this? Clay. We're your friends, Lou. They won't serve me any more liquor down at the bar. i got to find my flag. Mr. Mr. Michael, may I introduce you to Inspector Kramer of the police? <laughs> Who's this guy, Lou? He's Nero Wolf's assistant. Wolf? Police? Well, what do you all want? Somebody parked overtime? Where's my flask? The one with my initials. I just bought it this morning. Mr. Michelson, do you know that somebody was murdered here in your room? Murdered? Why don't you guys go away and joke with somebody else? Where's my flask? You better get hold of yourself. I said there's been a murder. Understand? Serious? Yep. And I wouldn't be surprised if Inspector Kramer here considers you top suspect. Me? They think I did? You better pull yourself together, Clay. Yeah, because I got a lot of questions. Excuse me, the phone. Now, sit down, Mr. Saunders. I'll answer it. Hello? 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 Mr. Who is it? This is Inspector Kramer. 
Hello? Hello? Uh. Who is Fila? Anyone know? Well, that's my wife. Your wife? I, I want to speak to her. Come back here, my daughter. Let me alone. I'm... You're not going anywhere. No, stay back there. You're wrong, Inspector. I am going somewhere. Junior's got a gun. Yes, Inspector. You should be more careful about your gun when you shove people. Now, look, Mr. Michaels. I'll I will see Mr. Wolf myself. Stay back, Inspector. You haven't got a chance. We'll nab you before you get a block away. Well, then I'll just jerk these phone wires. And I'll lock the doors. That should hold you long enough. Good night. You've got to help me. They think I murdered someone. You shouldn't have run away from the police. I, I've been drinking a lot, but but I wouldn't murder anyone. Feel it, tell you that. Your wife. Is she the model in that painting of yours I purchased? What difference does that make? I tell you, they're after me for murder. You obviously love your wife deeply at the time you painted her. Oh, here you are, Mr. Wolf. It's Michelson. Clay. Good Lord, man. The police are on their way over here. He came for my help, Mr. Saunders. Oh, I'm glad he did, Mr. Wolf. But we left Inspector Kramer talking from a phone booth. He'll be here any minute. And we have only a minute to decide why anyone would want to kill a cleaning woman. I didn't kill anybody. She was a beautiful woman, Mr. Wolf. I gather that, Archie, from your unusual interest in the case. She was stabbed with a letter opener from Mr. Michelson's house. Which might add, Mrs. Michelson, to our suspect list. Fela. You can't suspect Fela. You're very gallant, Mr. Michelson. Just how was this beautiful young cleaning woman, this Miss London, stabbed? Um, in the heart. Her eyes were wide open, pupils dilated with shock. And I know... Yes, later, Archie. Kramer will be here shortly. The moment I would like to know where everyone was. Well, Mr. Saunders was here with us, you remember. I don't know where Mrs. Michelson was, but I could go see her and find out. No, it won't be necessary, Archie. Mr. Michelson, where were you? Me? Why, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I can't seem to remember. It's hardly what we would call helpful. I, I was drunk. Maybe I went to feel it. I've been over there lots this week trying to talk to her. Yes, I must have gone over there. Have you ever seen the murdered woman before? No, I never saw her before in my life. I've seen her before, Mr. Wolf. Indeed, Mr. Saunders. I seem to remember your earlier statement to the contrary. Well, uh, I didn't know her name, but when I saw her, I remembered her. I understand she was quite an alcoholic. Hmm. Unfortunate woman. Beautiful woman. Well, look who's here, Inspector Crane. Oh, here you are, Michelson. And as you, you, you didn't have the courtesy to ring the bell, Inspector. And give you a chance to get this guy out of here? Nothing doing, Wolf. Now, come on. We're going to headquarters. Mr. Wolf, you can't let him take me. I didn't do it. I'm afraid there's not much I can do about it, Mr. Michelson. Come on. You come along, too, Saunders. i got to get a statement from you. Of course. This way. Come on. Well, all right. All right. I just got an angle. Really, Archie? Sure, it's simple. Saunders been going for this beautiful cleaning babe. Clay worms in. Saunders kills her. Perhaps there was jealousy somewhere in this case, Archie. Mr. Yeah, Wolf speaking. Mr. Michaels and him several of this delicious beer. Another can, Archie. And now, Mrs. Michaelson, may I ask how you found out there was a murder in the first place? A policeman came to see me. He told me what had happened. That they were looking for Clay. I don't know what to think. He's temperamental, he's jealous, and sometimes violent, but I can't imagine anything like this. Not Clay. Maybe some of those friends of his, but... You uh, don't care for your husband's friends? No. They all live off him. They're leeches. Mrs. Michelson, did your husband come to see you this afternoon? This afternoon? No. You quite positive? Oh, yes. That was his alibi for the time of the murder. He said he went to see you. Of course, he was fuzzy. He usually affected alcohol on the brain cells, but... Uh, 
Now, Mrs. Michelson, might I be a little indiscreet for a moment? Indiscreet? Have you been seeing some other man? I don't know what you're talking about. Please, Mrs. Michelson, I'm afraid your face gives away more than you tell. I thought we were here to talk about a murder, Mr. Wolf. Indeed, but your husband's jealousy might well fit into that category. Oh, Clay imagined things. You're a very beautiful woman, Mrs. Michelson. Now, if you'll try telling me the truth, perhaps we can accomplish something. But I tell you... Uh... All right. So I thought I was in love with another man. Your husband suspected but didn't know, huh? No. Clay didn't know. He wouldn't have given me a divorce anyway. You sound as though you want your husband back. I did. I didn't even know where he went. Indeed, Mrs. Michelson. Archie informs me that the murdered woman was quite lovely. What are you trying to suggest? You said yourself you wanted your husband back. Yeah, one woman jealous of another, that's always murder. Why, that's stupid. Clay wouldn't play around with a maid. That stupid Clay loves me. I'm not jealous of anyone. No one, do you understand? Archie, have you seen Mrs. Michelson home? Yes, sir. Thank you, I can find my own way. I'd prefer Archie took you, Mrs. Michelson. You wanted my help, didn't you? I... Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Michelson. If you will just wait outside for a moment, please. What have you got in mind, Mr. Wolf? Try exercising your own judgment just once, Archie. You mean she's the one who's jealous? Perhaps, Archie. Perhaps she may want us to think she was jealous. Perhaps she actually doesn't want her husband back at all, only to pin a murder on him. Oh. You see, in this case, it would be simpler than divorce. Yeah? Yeah, she might just be trying to get rid of him. She might, Archie. But then she's a woman, so don't count on anything. <laughs> she might even be telling the truth. This is where I live, Mr. Goodwin. Nice. Very nice. I like Greenwich Village. I'm trying to figure out why Mr. Wolf sent you along with me. <laughs> I'm a sucker for beautiful women. <laughs> I wonder. Archie. Huh? Does Mr. Wolf believe me? He hasn't made an official statement yet. Nice furniture and things. You sound like an appraiser or, or someone looking for something. That's because it's November. Mr. Wolf sent you to search my apartment. You could be wrong. I don't... Oh. What's the matter now? Thought you said your husband hadn't been here today. He, he wasn't. And what's this flask doing among these papers on the desk? Very prettily decorated with his initials. He was looking for it at the club. Flask? I don't know what it's doing there. Yeah, sure. You're trying to help, Clay. Right into the electric chair. But... His only alibi was his being here this afternoon, and you said he wasn't. Then what is his flask doing here? He said he just bought it this morning, so he must have been here today. I don't know what you're talking about. Where's your phone? Well, you've got things wrong. I don't know anything about that flask. I... Hey, the lights... Who's with those lights? Like? Sheila, put those lights on. Put on those lights. Oh, oh the lights are... Get to the light. A flask gone. Mayor yeah, Wolf speaking. Where's Fila Michelson? Fila? Perhaps you might try the lost and found, Inspector. Oh, look, I know she was over at your place. I thought you were interested in Clay Michelson. Oh, when will it be ready, by the way? Autopsy takes time, you know that. Where's the Michelson woman? I believe she had a date with Archie. Why do you want her? I'm sure it never dawned on you, Mom, but this bleeding woman who was killed was some dish. Maybe Mrs. Michelson was the jealous one. Your thinking is beginning to bear an amazing resemblance to Archie's, Inspector. Right in, thank you. Yeah, you are. Come on, Wolf, quit stalling. Where's Vila Michelson? Hmm? What? Oh, I really don't know, Inspector, but perhaps as a last resort, of course, you might try her home. Good night, Inspector. Ah, uh, inevitable moment I'm comfortable. Come in. Mr. Wolf, 
Oh, thank heavens you're here. I always am. Where's Mr. Goodman? I don't understand how it happened. I swear I don't. What happened? I haven't got any idea how it got there. Got where? Calm down, Mrs. Michaels. I... Uh, now, just what got where? Clay's new flask. Your assistant, Archie, he, he came home with me, and that new initial flask was there. He thinks Clay was there this afternoon, and that I'm trying to frame him or something. Oh, here you are. She's here, therefore. This is our gal, Mr. Wolf. She's been lying right down the line. I tell you, Clay wasn't there. Then why did you give me this clout on the head and grab the evidence and run? I didn't. I didn't hit you. I ran, but I didn't hit you. And I didn't take that flask either. Oh, next thing she'll say, there wasn't any flask. Stop gaping at Mrs. Michaels and I can open the door. Yeah, sure. Well, Mr. Wolf, they let Clay and me go for the... Viva. What are you doing here? After your visit this afternoon, Mr. Saunders, she decided to come down and see me. After my visit? What, what makes you think I was a feeder? It was Mr. Saunders, not your husband, who came to visit you this afternoon, wasn't it, Mrs. Michelson? I... I don't have anything to do with Mr. Saunders. And might I ask why you called him today? I, I wasn't calling him. I was calling Clay. You told me earlier yourself that you didn't know where Mr. Michelson was. Well, I... All right. So what if it was Mr. Saunders who came this afternoon? As he has for many afternoons. What are you trying to get at, Mr. Wolf? Saunders? He and Sheila? Yes, Archie, Mr. Saunders, the artist's friend and agent, happens to be the one who was making a fool of the artist. But that's all over. I told him. That's what I was talking to Mr. Saunders about this afternoon. I didn't want Clay to know. Clay would never have come back. All right, so it was Sheila and me. I admit it, but that's not murder. I suggest that it is, Mr. Saunders. I suggest that one of you two murdered the cleaning woman. Whichever one of you carelessly left the whiskey flask in Peter's apartment. This is murder, Mr. Wolf. Not a joke. Not at all a joke. You see, our cleaning woman was not murdered by the knife found in her body. She was poisoned. Poisoned? Oh, not by the knife? Poisoned. She undoubtedly drank from Michelson's flask while she was working in his room at the Garrison Club. But she was stabbed. True. However, Miss London was an alcoholic. Saunders mentioned that, and I checked with the club manager. But how does that prove there was poison in the flask? That she was poisoned. Archie, would you mind uh, repeating your description of the dead Miss London? First, uh, as to the wound. Okay. There was no blood. Someone advanced a fantastic theory about wiping the blood away. And now, Archie, the description of the body of Miss London. I mentioned the fact that her eyes were wide open, the pupils were dilated. At... Hey. Dilated pupils? Yes, sir. The lack of blood had already made me wonder about the entire affair. When you added the dilated pupils... What's special about dilated pupils? In death, that is a common symptom of poison by a certain vegetable drug of considerable potency. But what was the point of stabbing her? The poison did the job. However, the killer later used the letter knife in an effort to deceive the police. However, he unhappily forgot that the dead don't bleed. I think you're guessing, Mr. Wolf. Am I? Well, all I can say is that I was at the pool in the early afternoon. Hmm. You're very certain you were at the club pool when the murder was committed, Mr. Saunders? Certainly. From one until three. Excuse me, please. Wolf speaking. I know. You know? He died of drinking a fatal dose of poison known as deadly night shade. What? How do you know that? Inspector, do they know what time she died? Time? The medical examiner says 2.30. Thank you, Inspector. Oh, incidentally, if you care to drop over here, you may pick up the murderer. Goodbye. I heard him, Wolf. She died at 2.30. As I told you, I was in the pool at 2.30. Which is exactly how you proved yourself a murderer, Mr. Saunders. Oh, I proved myself... Even the police didn't know what time she died. Until just now. And the body wasn't found until the evening. How did you know she died between 1 and 3? I, I, I didn't know, but... You I... probably were at the pool at the time. The maid drank the poison whiskey. You put in the flask of your friend, Clay Michelson. I tell you, you're crazy. You planned to get rid of Clay, who stood in the way of your marrying Fila. When you came back to your room at three and found that the maid had drunk it instead, you stabbed her with Clay's letter opener to cover up the real cause of the murder 
and threw suspicion on Clay. Oh, this is nonsense. Ridiculous. And Ridiculous. then, when you learned that the woman for whose love you were willing to commit murder was through with you, you took Michelson's new flask to feel his home, confident that it would be found there. Yes, and then he attacked me and stole that flask again in order to make it look like Fela had done it. Exactly, Archie. Mr. Saunders, the chances are that your fingerprints will be found on that whiskey glass, and they'll be able to trace the poison to wherever you purchased it. The chances oh, are... Oh, no, you don't. Careful now, all of you. Guns bore me, Saunders. Oh, yeah? I'm leaving. You are not alone. Oh! Lane. Yes, Mrs. Michelson, your husband has been there for some time. Clay, are you all right? Yes, yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Well done, Mr. Michelson. I think you proved that an artist's life may indeed be exciting. I have been an awful fool, Mr. Wolf. Mr. Michelson, you might remember for the future that unreasoning and unjustifiable jealousy sometimes creates the very conditions that it fears. You're being very kind to me, Mr. Wolf. How can we ever thank you? My prompt remittance of your check on the seat of my bill in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good day, Mr. and Mrs. Michelson. Good day, Mr. Wolf. Good day. What's the matter, Archie? You look plum. Yeah. I always have the lousiest luck. Meaning? A hectic case with two beautiful dames. Michelson gets one, the undertaker gets the other, and what do I get? Hey, that reminds me. You got a fee. I get paid. <laughs> <laughs> You have been listening to The New Adventures of Nero Wolf, starring Sidney Greenstreet. The Night's Transcribed Story was written by Cheryl Hendricks and based on the famous characters created by Rex Stout. This is an Edwin Fadiman program, produced and directed by J. Donald Wilson. In the cast were Larry Dobkin as Archie Goodwin, and Betty Lou Gerson, Howard McNear, Dan O'Herlihy, Vic Perrin, and Bill Johnstone. Next week at this same time, Nero Wolf and Archie will bring you The Case of the Beautiful Archer. Don Stanley speaking. <laughs> chimes mean good times on NBC. There's fun and laughs with the chimes later this evening when Ed Gardner stars in Duffy's Tavern. As usual, Duffy won't be there, but Archie the manager will definitely be on hand to spread his whimsical advice where it'll do the most damage. Tomorrow night, there's action on NBC with Herbert Marshall starring as the man called X in another exciting battle against the forces of international intrigue. Next, Sam Spade. Later, William Bendix on NBC.